Hello everyone, welcome back to the learning series of Azure Bicep, which is part of Azure DevOps. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer working as Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn about App Service Plan and we will also see how to create an App Service Plan using Azure Bicep. So what is App Service Plan? So App Service Plan defines the following which are required for running web applications in a managed Azure environment. The first thing that App Service Plan would define is an operating system. It provides us either Windows or Linux based managed VM instances. These managed instances are managed by Microsoft. That means all the updates of the operating system will be taken care by Microsoft. Not just, just the updates but also future version upgrades of the operating systems will also be taken care by Microsoft Azure. And now the next thing is pricing tier. The pricing tier is very important in terms of what features you want to be available in App Service Plan. The pricing tier you have two categories. The first one is development and testing and then the second one is production right so within day one test category we have, have free share and basic so when you are do, when you are in the development phase or in the testing phase you can use the lower pricing tiers but when you plan to promote your environment to production then it's recommended to use the production grade pricing tiers like standard premium or isolated today we are going to learn about how to create an app service plan with windows operating system pre-installed in, in that all right let's navigate to Visual Studio Code and start authoring Bicep Script for creating an app service plan with Windows. Alright, let's create a new Bicep file which contains the code for creating the app service plan. Now, just type res hyphen plan. This meter will provide us the default template for creating the app service plan. Here is a preview. If you are okay with this, then press tab or click on this. It will add us all the required code that is required for creating the app service plan. So let's start modifying the symbolic name. I will say bicep app service plan one. Now provide a meaningful name. Is it bicep? I, can. I would like to add a dev environment name along with location in which it's going to be created and then app service plan one. Location is already automatically taken by this function then provide a SQ name I'll go with S1 and then capacity is so this S1 is the pricing chair and then capacity means the number of VM instances that you want to allocate to the app service plan save the file and then execute the command 
by using Azure CLI, AZ. We are creating a deployment on a resource group by using this create command. Now it expects us to provide the resource group name hyphen Z, the shortcut. Let me copy the resource group name. in which you want to create the app service plan and then pass in the file name the shortcut for that is hyphen f the file name is two dot app service plan dot and then press enter All right, it's done. Let's navigate to Azure portal and refresh. The app service plan is created. Let's click on the app service plan. We are here in app service plan. It's created in East US and the operating system is Windows. And the pricing tier is S1 with one instance. Right now, we don't have any apps. In the upcoming videos, we'll create some apps inside this app service plan. Till then, bye-bye. Have a good day.